This is instructions of how to put together the PAX wardrobe from Ikea. Follow directions, number one. Two, fix a glass of wine. Number two, fix a glass of wine. All right, so there's two pieces here. You wanna make sure that as you're following the directions, you lay these the right way. So you got a wood side on that side, this side, you have the white side in the inside. So the first step on the directions is to put this bracket in. So you're gonna wanna put the bracket, one, two, three, line it up. Make sure you put it in this second hole, not the first hole. All right, so again, the same thing on this side. One, two, three. Make sure you're using this second hole. These screws. You're just gonna screw that in right there. All right, the next step after you get these brackets in is to screw those longer screws in. And it's important to put it on the right ones. So <laughs> this is your left plank. That one was your right plank. For the left plank, you're gonna use the first hole, the middle, and then the second hole. And on the right plank, you're gonna use second, middle, last. And that is step two, three. That is what you're doing there, step two and three. Okay, so on your right plank, you're gonna put it here, one, two, three, up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same with the right. Make sure you use that inside. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the outside. One, two, three. All right, we're back. Now you're gonna grab these two little pieces. And again, you're gonna follow the directions, which has you putting those little wood pegs into that second hole. Second hole. Don't worry about putting them all the way in. Just have them sticking out. They're going to eventually go into another piece. Do the same on this end. Second hole. Second hole. And then do it for the other piece. All right. Back to the thing. We are on step seven. So you're gonna grab this long screw, push the little black thing in there, snaps in. And where do those go? I'm gonna put, you gotta back up step six. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Step six, since we skipped it, you're gonna grab those. This is our favorite part. And so I'm on my right plank here. They're gonna go in here and you actually have to hammer them in. They have they have little kind of pointy thingies. So it takes a hammer and you have to push it in and it's kind of hard. So done hammering, make sure make sure this is as flush as you can get it. It shouldn't be hanging out. For that one. And then that one. And then you're gonna take these and screw them in. You're only gonna go about halfway, don't don't go all the way in. about halfway. Same with this one. About 
about halfway. Okay. Now, on your left plank, it's important to follow the directions closely and make sure you're lining up the right sides. This one looks like this. The two holes, one hole on that side. On the side on the top. And hmm? The unfinished side. And the unfinished side is on this side where the bracket is. And then the smooth side's by the smooth side. So you're just gonna place that into here and those little pegs are gonna go right in there. This one? Yeah. And you're gonna put that where? On the bottom, step 12. 12 right. 11, 11, 12. So you're working on the same left plank. Make sure that these two are on that side. The finished side is on this side, the unfinished side on that side, and then make sure you line it up at one, two, at the third hole. And then you're just going to push those little wooden pegs in. So now your left plank has both sides in, and then you're going to take these little spinny screws and you're just going to push them in each of these big holes. <laughs> and they'll just go in and then you screw them in for that one, that one, and then those three on the top. Pretty easy. All right, reference back here. That was step 13 that we just did with the screws. Now we're on step 14, which is putting these two ends in. That's those little skinny ones. And one of them has two little white strips. The other one does not. Second hole of the first hole. Second roll of the... It should be so it's going to be flush. Yep, so it should be flush. So the one with the two white sides... Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That looks good when I swapped it. So it goes in the first Yeah, they go in. And then those little wooden pegs are just going to get push down there and then this one there is a method to which way it goes and you'll know because it has to be flushed this if you if you were to put that side in uh, it would not be flush so just line the pegs up and again you just kind of wiggle it until it goes in okay Okay, we're gonna move on to step 15, which is taking our right plank and putting it on top of the left plank. Again, making sure that you're doing it the right way, where the metal part goes, up, the bracket goes on this side, the screw and the pegs will line up. Same for this side, the little screw goes in and you just kind of pop, pop all of them in, including the wood pegs. Make sure you line it up before you push all the way down. Uh, all right, push down. And there you go. The wooden pegs go right in. Do the same for that side. Okay, step 16 involves these screws and again you're just going to put them in each of those big holes on that side as well as this side just stick it in there and then use the screwdriver to tighten them up all right once you tighten all of those it's a kind of a two-person thing, if you can. But you're gonna flip it down. Lift your back. So again, keep mind of the brackets is pretty much the top. You can tell the bottom because it has this little lip. And then you're gonna grab 
that cardboard thing. It looks like that. All you do is open it where the white side is going to be facing down to the floor. And you're just going to lay it down. It kind of has a lip going all the way across where it kind of fits perfectly. Spreading that out. All right, so we just finished step 18 where we put the, the backing on. So now we're gonna move to 19 and 20, which there's a little black tool that looks like this. And you're gonna line this up. And this tool pretty much gives you the perfect place placing of the nails. And you're gonna nail it all the way down on all the sides. You wanna try to kind of make it even. Did it there, and then you're gonna want to do the same on this side. Again, she used the tool so it puts it perfectly at the edge where it needs to be. And then we just kind of so we do it semi evenly is line up the screws where we're gonna want to screw it, and then wherever the wherever you lay the screw, you're just gonna use that tool, line it up to the edge, and it puts it perfectly where you want to put the nail. And then you're gonna hammer it. This is probably the longest part of putting it together. Once you hammer all those in, then you'll be ready for the next step. Okay. So that's what it looks like. You're just gonna hammer all those nails in on all four sides. And then you are ready to put it up against whatever wall you're going to put it up. So, there you go. this is a finished product. Again, make sure you put the feet side on the floor. Which is these two holes. Those are going to go up on the wall. They're the opposite of the feet. You'll see the brackets will be on the top again. So there's kind of two ways you can do it. They give you an option where you can actually mount this onto your wall. That's what those brackets and the screws are for. And there's steps in the book that show you how to do that. We actually are not gonna mount them to these walls. We don't own this house. So we're just gonna kind of put them flush against the wall and they'll just sit there. And you'll see on this one, one of the steps is to put those little white brackets we haven't done it on this one yet, but it's easy. Where are those brackets? I'll come back to it. Okay, so last, you have these little brackets. You'll see the little two kind of holes. And that is where you line up on the corner. And just press towards the bottom and then It'll snap in there. There you go. Oh yeah, don't forget to put the little white things in there. Little white pegs. As well as on the bottom. Right there. And there. And that was putting the big piece together. So just as a note, uh, most of the end of the directions, like 21 and on, is talking about mounting it to the wall, like I said. So, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. You're going to follow directions because we're not mounting these. They're just going to kind of sit on the wall. Don't let the kids climb. Yes, do not let kids climb these if they're not mounted to the wall because they will probably fall forward. Even if they are mounted. Hope this helped you put together this uh, IKEA furniture packs wardrobe.